Hi everybody, welcome to Pop-Up Camper Pro. I'm Derek Smith, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the gasket underneath your rooftop air conditioner. So in this tutorial, we're going to be covering water coming in from a failed rooftop gasket. If you're camping and it's raining and water's coming through the ceiling assembly, or you've opened your camper up and you notice water on the floor in that area, it's likely due to a failed rooftop gasket. If you're getting water through the ceiling assembly while the air conditioner is running and it's not raining, that's likely the drip tray. We have a video showing you how to fix that as well. The air conditioner we're going to be working on today is a Coleman Mach 3 unit. You might have a different AC on top of your camper. These steps will all be very similar. And after you've fixed your air conditioner, please take a look at our web store, popupcamperpro.com. Here's where you can find our official chalk art merchandise. All right, let's replace this gasket. Here are the tools that we will be using. I'll add a material list in the description below. Chalk one wheel, then lower the rear stabilizers. Unfasten these two screws holding the grill in place. Now lower the grill and remove these four bolts that are securing the center of the ceiling assembly. You can use a drill to remove these, but don't use a drill to reinstall them. Next, there are two hanging mounting brackets on the outer portion of the grill. Remove these. Lower the assembly and disconnect the wiring harness. Zip tie the assembly out of the way. There are four bolts that are holding the air conditioner to the roof. These are long bolts. Unscrew them very slowly. One of ours is bent. We'll unscrew this one by hand. Next, lower the roof, then unscrew the four bolts on top of the AC shroud. Gently lift up from the sides and the front to remove the shroud from the mounting tabs, and then remove it. We're going to be working on this air conditioner on the top of the roof, so I'm going to lay some towels down to protect the roof. Now gently lay the AC on its side. Using a scraper, start removing the leveling pad and the old gasket. This AC had a newer gasket installed. Older ones will come off much easier. Next, with a 50-50 solution of alcohol and water, spray the gasket area. Use a scraper and a rag to remove any remaining gasket material. Now use an adhesive remover and a steel wool pad to remove any remaining glue. The bottom of the AC should look something like this when you're done. Next we're going to clean the area underneath the air conditioner for a better sealing surface for our new gasket. We're using a spray cleaner a soft brush and rags. If your AC filters are dirty or brittle, it's a good time to replace them. The mounting frame on this unit shows some rust as well. We're using a rust remover to clean the frame. Here's a great filter for this job. It's oversized and fits many ceiling assemblies from many manufacturers and different models. We're going to lay our old gaskets on top and cut the correct sizes.
Now that the bottom of our air conditioner has had some time to dry, it's time to install the new mounting gasket. Opening our kit, we find instructions, two leveling pads, and the frame gasket. Remove the backing from the AC gasket and install it into place. Press firmly around the entire gasket area. Choose a correct size leveling pad and install it as well. Gently lower the AC back onto the roof. Reinstall the four long mounting bolts through the frame and back into the air conditioner. Install them slowly. And remember our bent bolt? We're going to install this one mostly by hand. Now using a nut driver, tighten the four bolts evenly. Wash the gasket as it compresses. Do not exceed more than 50% of the compression on the gasket. Install the two hanging brackets loosely. Remove the zip tie holding the ceiling assembly out of the way and reinstall the inside cover plate. Plug the wiring harness back in and reattach the two hanging mounting tabs. Use a driver and bit to install the four inside mounting bolts. Do not use a drill here. Reinstall the filter grate and tighten the two mounting bolts. Put the shroud back on and the four fasteners. And you're done, you did it.